coming soon morning program. Listen to this fantastic news that happened this month. Obama's Iron Deal falls on ominous Bible date. One on the Jewish calendar this year, April the 1st, coincided with Nisan 13th, the date in history when a Persian king signed an agreement, an agreement calling for the destruction of the Jews. Obama has issued his decree putting the Jewish nation at risk of annihilation. On the very same day, King Asuero's scribes came together and issued their statement to the rulers of every people of every province according to their writing, whereof and to every people after their language, and sent letters by posts into all kings' provinces to destroy, to kill, and to cause to perish all Jews, both young and old, little children and women, in one day, just one day. And let's hear what a, an, an author called Joe Richardson said. He, is, he, he wrote, End times a witness, when a Jew rules the world, the Islamic Antichrist, Middle East beast, and more. And listen to what he said, Joe Richardson, a writer to our times. The God of heaven and earth frequently orchestrates world events in such a way as to demonstrate his perspective. Richardo explained, those who are quick to brush aside the correspondence of profound global events, particularly as they affect the state of Israel with important biblical dates, often miss what may very well be purposeful to the cats from heavens. And he continues, it is the sign that dismisses the possibility of a divine hand as mere coincidence. I think we need to be looking at this very seriously and ask ourselves what it is indicating. So Joe Richardson, he studies the Bible, the biblical prophecies, and he has written many books, including the Muslim Antichrist. Now listen to what Franklin Graham, son of Billy Graham, who wrote on his Facebook. In a Facebook posting, Franklin said, in an interview with the New York Times, President Barack Obama said he is committed to seeing that Israel maintains, maintains a military edge over Iran, with the possibility of nuclear weapons to its at stake there, has, there is a lot of more to this than military aid. Iran does not recognize the right of Israel to exist. In previous speeches, their mullahs have said they would burn Tel Aviv. One nuclear weapon can wipe out the city of 400,000 people or more. It's not about maintaining a military edge, Mr. President. Franklin said, it's about keeping nuclear weapons out of the hands of people who have said they would use them. I'll repeat this last sentence Franklin Graham said about this. He said, it's not about maintaining a military end, Mr. President. It's about keeping nuclear weapons out of the hands of people who have said they would use them. Recently, a leader from Iran said the destruction of Israel is unnegotiable. So, they have a goal to destroy Israel. They are gaining time in all this discussion about nuclear deal. And in the end, be sure, they will have a nuclear bomb and they can destroy Israel. So, uh, the logical thinking is that Israel will attack the iron nuclear facilities 
very soon because they can't allow them to have a nuclear bomb. So imagine this, Israel attacks Iran, nuclear facilities, and then began the Third World War, involved all the Middle East. And in the end of this war, in the Middle East, it's Gog and Magog war, in the end of this war, the Antichrist will appear to the world, will make a peace deal between the rest of the Arabic people and Israel, and then will govern the world. But before his assumption, the church will be raptured. Maybe we will see the beginning of this war in the Middle East, but not the end of this war, because when this war finishes, the Antichrist is on the stage and we will be in the heavens with our good Lord Jesus Christ. So pay attention to the world events these days. Remember the four blood moons are happening. There was a, a total solar eclipse. All these are written in the Bible. It's a proof that Jesus is coming back very soon and the rapture is very close to us. So, keep your life in the way of the Lord. God bless you too much.